How's it going YouTube? Welcome to another episode of Sick Eric TV and today we're going to be taking a look at the differences between Samsung's One UI launcher, home launcher, and OnePlus's Oxygen OS home launcher. We're going to be checking out the differences. This shouldn't be too much of a long video. I just thought I'd go over them. That way you guys can know the differences between using a Samsung and using a OnePlus device. Oxygen OS is what you will get on a OnePlus device and Samsung One UI is what you will get on a Samsung device. So both of them offer the Google feed over here on the left hand side now. Samsung just started doing this on the Galaxy S21. Keep in mind this is the latest software on both of these. This is the S21 Plus, OnePlus 9 Pro. So they both offer the Google feed over there on the side. Samsung does offer um, the Samsung free over here as well, but who's going to use that? Come on guys. I do not like the Samsung free. I got that on my note. I do not use it. I prefer the Google Discover. So when you dive into the settings and go into home settings, you do get options for home and apps on your screen for the Samsung. And over here on the OnePlus launcher layout, you do get home screen only which shows all your apps just like on the Samsung or you get your app drawer Samsung the same thing as well you can show home screen only or you could get the home and the app screen on there as well so really really cool that you could both offer that they both offer that personally I don't like the iPhone look I like having an app drawer over here on the Samsung you do have the option to change your home grid 4x5, 4x6, 5x5, 5x6 and over here on the OnePlus screen layout, you can change it by 3x5, 3x6, which I don't know, it's a really odd number, 4x5, 4x6, 5x5, and 5x6. You do have the option to do all of that. You can change your icon sizes as well over here and hide the apps of your, uh, the name of your apps as well. So really cool, they both offer that. Let's go ahead and go back. Over here on the Samsung, you can change your app screen layout as well with all these different settings on the app screen on the layout on the home launcher of Oxygen OS. It does not look like you could do that for the apps. Let's go ahead and see if we could change this. Disable history. No, so you can't really do that for the apps on Oxygen OS. So with that being said, let's go ahead and go back. Over here on the Samsung, you can change your folder grid uh, to either 3x4 or 4x5. Over here on the OnePlus, there is no options for folders or anything like that on the OnePlus device. Uh, over here on the Samsung, you can show apps screen button on home screen. So if you wanna show your apps icon, you can click that on there as well. Over here on the OnePlus, you can. You can also lock home screen layout on the Samsung. Over here on the OnePlus, let's see if we could uh, lock the layout over here. Let's go ahead and go back. So we can't really lock the home screen layout. Over here on the OnePlus, add new apps to home screen. You could change that on the Samsung as well. Personally, I don't like that. Over here on the, on the OnePlus, you can also add icon to home screen for every time you install a new app it'll go straight to your home screen uh, you can hide apps on the samsung and you can have a hidden space on the one plus so you can add apps to your hidden space over here on the one plus and over here on the samsung you can hide apps as well and you could probably use a fingerprint to access those apps you know you're doing anything shady cheating on your girlfriend or anything like that stalking somebody you could add apps into your hidden space on the oneplus and you could hide apps on your samsung as well if you want to go that route i do not suggest that though uh, app icon badges you can show with number or dot on the samsung over here on the oneplus you get notification dots on everything as well your messages and you could also change everything as well. You could show notifications on the lock screen, sensitive notifications and things like that. You also get more settings over here, snooze notifications and a notification dot on app icon. 
You can do bubbles as well over here on the OnePlus. At a glance and default notification sound, you go all these settings over here on the OnePlus straight from the home launcher. Uh, swipe down for notification panel, you can do that as well. This is the default if you swipe down from Samsung, it brings up your app drawer. Over here on the OnePlus, swipe down to access either the shelf or your quick settings. So if you go swipe down to it, you can access your, your uh, quick setting toggles over here on the OnePlus. You could also change it to uh, if you want to do the shelf. You swipe down, you bring home uh, your launcher, never settle your shelf from OnePlus over here and you can change that back over here on the Samsung as well. So you go back in there and swipe down for notification panel. And there you go, you get that really, really cool feature. I definitely like having that rather than the shelf over here on the OnePlus. Let's go ahead and go back, change that. Uh, let's see, any other settings in here that we got from each and every one of them? Rotate to landscape, you can do rotation home screen layout exactly uh, over here on the oneplus you do have the option to add icon packs more icon packs over here on the play store on the oneplus which is really really cool i do have uh several icon packs that i did download over here so let's go ahead and go in there icon packs so i do have pixel pie dark and oxy pie icon pack that you can download from the play store which is cool samsung unfortunately over here when you go into uh your themes you could only use Samsung apps as far as icons, you know, and themes and wallpapers and things like that. You cannot use third party icons on the Samsung, which is weird. I thought you could. Maybe you can. Maybe I'm wrong. Comment down below if I'm wrong. I may be. But yeah, you could only use like, you know, icons from Samsung that you could do over here. And you could go into, of course, customization and uh, let's see, themes. And of course, you could get into your icons there as well. Click over here, once you download stuff, you get your My Stuff. You got icons that you can download, wallpapers, and themes. As you can see, I got a uh, pixelized theme over here on the Samsung, while over here on the launcher, I just have uh, those Pixel Pie Dark icons right there. Both of these offer double tap to sleep, which is really, really cool. So if any of you guys are new here on Sick Eric TV and like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click that bell icon. That way you get notified on my future videos. I really, really appreciate it. Let's see, you have double tap to lock automatically right there. Tap to lock on your home screen. So really, really cool that it offers that. Let's go ahead and unlock this. So yeah, really, really cool stuff. You could change your wallpapers over here. You get widgets on the OnePlus launcher. You get all your calendar stuff, card package, Chrome, clock, contacts, Gmail, everything that you have installed. Of course, everybody should know how to use your widgets on your smartphone. You get the OnePlus widget right there and other today, which is stuff that I got on there. You also get your Zen mode over here on the Samsung. You get all your stuff uh, categorized. So you got your Amazon music, calendar, clocks, and things like that all set in three different settings so you got your galaxy buds you got two different types of widgets for that and gmail you know things like that outlook of course a lot of microsoft stuff on the samsung music you get two different types of widgets like so and then you just add them to your home screen wallpapers as well you can download more wallpapers you got samsung's preloaded wallpapers and OnePlus's wallpapers down here that are preloaded and you could also use third-party launchers on either one of these these are the preloaded wallpapers from Samsung and these are the wallpapers from OnePlus and you also can do a canvas wallpaper over here on the OnePlus which I really don't like using that so really really cool that you could do that on both of these so those are the differences that I know of of the differences between One UI 3.1 and Oxygen OS 11, both really, really nice launchers. Definitely, I prefer Oxygen OS's app drawer just because it's vertical compared to horizontal on the Samsung, which I really don't like. You can also sort these as far as custom order and alphabetical order. You can also go into settings and change everything there as well. 
and uh, you can do Galaxy Essentials and contact us over here. You just have the option to disable history. And you can search for your apps on both of these up here at the top, so really, really cool. But I definitely prefer OnePlus's launcher just because it looks more stock, but Samsung is still a really, really nice launcher. I usually just keep using Samsung just because if I try to install a third-party launcher, it does not work right. Uh, certain things are really finicky over here as far as you know swiping up from home you get a little delay before you can actually go into an app it sort of flashes the screen and then you can open up an app which is really weird i guess it's not compatible with android 11 yet so i definitely prefer oneplus's launcher what do you prefer do you prefer a samsung one ui or oneplus's oxygen os launcher comment down below thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed this quick video and i'll see you guys in the next video peace